Welcome to this module in our Airway series, this one on the use of an LMA. In this particular video, I review how to use the LMA with the use of a mannequin. Use of a mannequin has some advantages for us in that I could pause and show some subtle aspects of the use of the LMA that would be difficult to do in a live demonstration. In part two of this series, I review how to use the LMA in a live demonstration. Thanks for watching and thanks for learning with us. Medical Specialists Associates, making medical education more accessible. So let's review the LMA now. So there are several different types of LMAs, but they're all put in the same general way. In this particular LMA that I have here, it's a simple one. There's no bite block here, and there's no ports for nasogastric or oral gastric tubes or, or otherwise to go through. This particular LMA also does not have any ridges down below where the air comes out. That's important because if you had one that had that and you were going to, say, do a bronchoscopy through it, you would need to take those out, but this one doesn't have it. Now, you could put this LMA in with air in, and that's how I prefer to do it. Right now there's air within it, or you can take the air out of it. If we go ahead and we take the air out, then the concern is, is that when we go and we hold it like a pencil and put it in, that perhaps maybe the tip here could tip back like that and you're not gonna have as good as a seed. And so that's why most of us put it in with air so that this way when it's blown up nicely, when we go to put it in, it has some rigidity down here and you're more likely to seed it directly in it. So let's review some of the basics of how we're gonna put this in and where we're gonna put it. So when it comes to placement, we're gonna come in and we're gonna hold it as a pencil like here. And it's important to have this finger here because this is what you're gonna to use to push all the way back into the oral pharynx. And we're gonna come here and push in, push in, push in, and then we're gonna feel it seed and pop right here. And this is where it's gonna uh, end. And that's important because when it's back here, air can come straight down through here into the glottic opening and it opens up these soft tissues here in the back so this is where we want it to be seated so now i'm going to show you the demonstration of us putting it in so now again holding it like a pen we come in here and i'm going to push down and it's nice that i'm meeting some resistance but when i'm in i'm using this finger here to push all the way back into the oral pharynx and you could grab it with the other hand and push just a little bit. And when you come in, you feel it seed, and then you feel a little pop, and that's how you know you're in. And then when you're in again, you can inject a little bit more air. And the concept is, is again, that when you're in, what you're doing now is you're widening some of these soft tissues back here to have a more direct shot straight to the glottic opening with less impediment by any maybe tissues being in the way. Thank you so much for watching and learning with us today. If you're interested in taking this class for credit, or if you're interested in our other services, such as our direct clinical care services, please visit our website at www.med-specialist.net or click on the link in the description below. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on our most current content and educational opportunities.